Hi guys, welcome to Learning, Growing and Becoming. My name is Nanti Tugo, but you guys can call me Nantu and I'm pretty sure you know by now. I am very excited to be doing this live thing with you. On today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I started my hair business at the age of 20. Yes, it was in 2019 and I was 20 years old. I'm from a very small town. <laughs> I know people from Betha get mad when we keep on saying we're from a very small town, but mm, we kind of are. Yeah, I'm from a very small town where some things are relatively less pricey, you know. Doing hair back here at home is much more reasonable and makes, make, makes much more sense than going to Epidori and paying close to a grand. At that time, I said, just oh, keep a job 400 for hair. And I was just passing through YouTube and I saw some person doing her hair using like those Afro hair pieces. So I'm like, I will, how about I do it on my own hair, you know? So I went to a chemist's pharmacy. Do you guys call it a drugstore on the streets now? <laughs> they fortunately had everything, a crochet needle, the wig cap. I didn't even need a wig cap at that time. It's like, oh, crochet needle, I'm going to crochet it to my natural hair. It looked good, but it wasn't <laughs> for a person who was just starting out. I was very excited. I was like, hi, bo. So I can do this with my hair and I can change hairstyles almost every week. I started seeing that actually you could turn these into wigs. It's like, cool, oh, that's cool. And I went back to the very same store. I was like, I'm going to try this out. But then student budgets again you need to buy the head because I did try crocheting especially if you're using the net try crocheting onto my hair my natural hair i just was saying put on a plastic and then you put on hey guys i tried it didn't work so i was like no actually i do need to get um a mannequin so i looked at the price i'm like i saw the <laughs> so I, I can't afford this i think i could but like i'm a person who will do anything to cut costs if there's a way not to spend as much as they say you should be spending then i'm going for that way if i could do it myself instead of paying someone else then why am i paying someone else uh, so as now to my business started off from i can't i'm not gonna call myself a cheap skater but low-key i shall get it in my heart but hey <laughs> and then i left i left the mini and i was like oh, okay then it's fine that means that i'll continue crocheting onto my hair until this one time i passed by some salon they had the same mannequin i asked them if they're selling the mannequins they're like no they are not i was like no i really need it could you please sell it to me they sold it to me at a reasonably lower price than i would have gotten it at that pharmacy it was it was dirty it was dirty actually this is how it looks and i'm still using it don't judge me i have some attachment to it now, oh no, you know. And now I'm rocking my afros, you know, my faux afro. And I'm getting compliments when I'm at church, like, oh, you have beautiful hair. I'm like, I bo, what hair? I, now it's a thing wherever I go, G. <laughs> People think it's my real hair. I'm getting compliments when now. So I was talking to someone I was close with at that time. And he's like, no, man, you, you you know you could actually start selling this. I'm like, nah, who would buy? And then people start also texting me. They're like, is that your hair? How do you groom your hair? What natural products do you use on your hair? What, what, what? And I'm sitting, I'm thinking, uh, that person must be onto something, you know? And he's like, yeah, test it out. So I put up my first post on Facebook. I was like, Hey lovies, this is what I'm making at this price. And at the time, it had been a month since I even found out it was Opep colors some things via Pexi. Color will be 50 Rand. This is the hair that I make. How I came up with the cost is I started calculating um, the price of two hair pieces and the wig cap. A part of me wanted to go big on the amount i had to remind myself how i had gotten 
to this point to begin with i was like okay um it was because i was broke so i want whoever is going to be buying from me not to feel as if they've spent way too much from their pocket i set it up i put it up on facebook and guys it blew i got a lot of reactions i got a lot of shares i got a lot of inboxes and i still remember my first client and if i'm not mistaken she's bought three times from me now last week i was querying her other week i cried that order i put it in a pick and pay plastic bag because guys i was staying at risk it's not like i have paper bags and i kept on going i kept on going I the last time i counted towards my first year i had made over 100 orders and i can't imagine how many orders i have i've made right now because we are going on to the third year so that's someone i was close to and he's like come up with a name for it so that people can be able to take it seriously even he was not my original idea it was his idea the nubian is obviously like someone african a black girl and then the he is like he like yena h-e-r but also at the same time it sounds like hey you hey as i my saying name as i'm saying we'll see you all of a big factory <laughs> but yeah so i was like i'm i'm rolling with this name i love it and at the same time i also had a guy friend who's like a graphic designer he was like no i could actually design a logo for you i haven't thought of that you know i was like no this is how i charge and i would love to design for you when it comes to the costs that were involved i didn't use a a dime out of my own pocket client sends the amount i rush to the store i buy the hair piece we caps whatever i'm gonna need for the hair and i come back and make the hair i color it whatever i'm left with is my profit it comes to me i do whatever i want to be doing with it so i was like you know what i'm gonna sell like probably two three weeks whatever i gather from that i'm not gonna keep it for myself i'm gonna give directly to him we worked around the logo i gave him the idea that i had he sent me the first draft i didn't quite like it and he worked around it and i loved it we both came with the colors and it was just beautiful the customers kept on coming in i started developing so much more love for it and the fact that i would send um a particular week to my customers and they would style it up and wear it in a way that i i recognize and sometimes i would have to like text my customers and be like is this new and hair you have on your head because sometimes i'd also personally be confused so i started playing around with the hair i developed new hairstyles eventually now we had clip ins we have headband wigs and then i had synthetic hair if i can't wear it i can't have you wearing it so before i put it out there as something that i'm selling best believe that i've worn it i've tested it out if it's going to require a lot of work from me i do not want it what drives my business is convenience being easy to wear and definitely affordability i'll be showing you guys with more video uploads the ins and outs of my business and what i am actually selling but so that's how i started my business at 20 years old it's something that i still count as fortune that i didn't have to have um, startup cash or started using social media to market my friends my family my customers do get me more clients by sharing the work that is how we have come to almost three years from Tase and <laughs> I will not say that it has been an easy road, but it is fulfilling. It has changed my life. It has helped me grow as a person. And I'd like to say that if you have found something that helps you grow as a person, something that has been fulfilling to you, cherish it and put in so much effort for it to work and become 
a profitable business because at the end of the day in as much as the love is there we are doing it for the money to some extent the next video i'll be putting up because as the business lessons i've learned up till far please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to comment and i will see you guys next time